Hello, lads and lasses. Hey, if you like today's lesson, then please attend a local politician's town hall meeting and ask them what policies they will put in place to force people to sign up for art classes, as this would really help spread the good word. All right, we are working on our funky faces today. All right, so uh, to what we're going to get started on today is that we have drawn... Uh, our funky faces and now we are going to start painting them and we are going to do the background first so in the background we have all these gray buildings so we're going to we're, what we're going to do is we're going to paint a blend from light gray to a medium gray light gray to a medium gray everywhere the every where you have the top of a building is light and the bottom of a building is dark light to dark light to dark light to dark all right, so that's what we are doing today. So what I need to do is I need to make two grays. I have my paint here and I have white and black. I'm gonna make a light uh, gray and a dark gray. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the back over here light to dark. So here we go. Am I... I'm going to start in the upper uh, left hand corner. I like to work from upper left to lower right. light gray All right. So all of this right here is, I, I'm going to go ahead and paint over the rectangles, but all of this here is going to be like a medium gray and 
All of this up here is going to be the light gray. Got to work fast. Got to work fast. Got to work fast. Because the stuff is drying as we speak. And not only is the air drying it, but the paper that is being painted on is drying it. So the paper is soaking up the water that's in the paint. And do one last thing right here. All right, and now naked brush, no paint, no water. And you blend. Wash that off. No water, no paint on the brush. Naked brush, and you blend. I think I can go with a lighter light gray. I'm going to add all of this white to here on the next one. All right. Add white and get into the little corners here. And all of this is going to be light. All right, and why don't we just focus right on the transition, right? I can paint all that up there later. All right, and now I've got to paint around the face. And it's okay if I paint a little bit over it. In fact, I'm going to leave that little part right there. Just do a fresh little bit right here. All right, naked brush, and I blend. Naked brush, blend up here. Naked brush, I blend. And naked brush, blending down here. All right, I want you to notice that I got a little bit over the edge right here, and that's okay. That's an easy fix. And the reason why that's an easy fix is because that, that right there is my medium gray, so I can just repaint that right back in with the medium gray. And then over here, I can just repaint that back in with the medium gray. And then everything up here can be just that light gray. That's blend, 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 blend.
And because that's going to be light right here, so I kind of I'm going to make uh, a artistic decision and do just a little bit of blending right there. I don't want to have a light against a light. So let me paint behind this face. And I'm just going to do just a little bit of that dark right there. And then all the rest of this is going to be light. And then I'm going to blend. All right, down here, I didn't go around the face because I was kind of hurrying. So I'm going to go back in and paint this medium gray. Nice and pretty around the faces. Trying to be extra neat. It's okay if I do a little bit over this because uh, it will, uh, I can paint over it. So a little bit of paintbrush right there. All right. I'm going to add one right there. And one right there. So now I'm going to go from light to dark here. So I'll have the transition right around this area. So all of this up here will be light. All of this down here will be dark. In fact, all right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to paint, I'm going to paint the transition area first. So I'm going to paint a black, a, a, a patch of light and I'll paint a patch of, of dark. I'll blend between it. Then I'll go back in and finish painting this and finish painting that because I need to work quickly. So let me just show you how that kind of works. I'm going to paint... All right, just that area right there is the area that I am going to blend. And let's go try to do this quickly. Trying to make a slow change from light to dark. There we go. All right, now that I have a good transition from light to dark, then I can go back in and just paint this area up here light. And also notice that the, the jagged edge that I made across there 
now I can go back in and make that nice and smooth. All right, and now I can go in and make this area dark. Try to get right up to the lines. Make it as nice and neat as you possibly can. All right, next we're going to do this transition right here. So I will have the blend right in this area. So I'm just going to paint this light and this dark. We'll do the blend here, and then I'll go back in and paint that and that. Got to work quick, quick. All right, now I got my naked brush, no water, no paint, and I just rub the tip of it between the two colors between the two values. All right, now because that's going to be light and that's going to be light, I'm just going to do just a little strip of a blend right across here. Paint this back in so it's fresh and wet. Naked brush. All right, what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling that, uh, that darker gray up a little bit. All right, so then as I'm using the light gray, and I'm going to do a blend right here. And then all the rest of this will be light gray. And I'm going to, and actually, I can leave that rectangle right there. I can come back in and paint it later.
All right, I see some blending I need to do. Just that kind of kind of streaky up there, didn't it? All right, and then down here, finish off this one. Now on this one, because this is dark, I don't want it to be against a dark picture, a dark background over here. So I'm going to do my blend in this area. So my white will be right here, or my light color will be right here on up. And I'll just paint over that window. And the dark will be here. All right, and then I blend back and forth here. naked brush rubbing back and forth All right, and everything above this is going to be light. So let me do a blend right here. Go back and do some more dark right here. Naked brush and blend.
All right, so let's do this one right here. This one will be pretty easy. It's just a rectangle. We're going to do a blend from light to dark. And so my blending area is going to be right here. Get all the extra water off my brush, naked brush, rub gently between the two colors. I'm going to do a blend right here. Naked brush, no water, no paint, just rubbing between the dark and the light. Very lightly. And then I finish up down here. All right, and then right here, I'm going to do a, a blend from light to dark. So we'll have the blending area from uh, right here. So I'll do I'll blend here first, and then I'll paint in the light, then I'll paint in the dark. All right, naked brush, no water, no paint, and then I rub between here. Come around the lips. And I'm going to do a little bit of a blend right there. You can see that there's a sharp edge between dark and light. So naked brush, no water, no paint. I'm going to pull down that light into here. Down here, I'm going to pull the dark into the light. Naked brush. There we go. It's a nice blend. And then I paint the gray up here, the light gray.
and then I will paint the dark gray down here. All right, so then I'm going to do this area right here, and my blend is going to be in this area right here. So uh, all of this up here will be light, and then uh, this area down here will be dark. So I'm going to go quickly. All right, so let's blend. So naked brush, no water, no paint. And I rub very gently with the tip of the brush right between the two colors, light and dark. I wash off my brush, no water, no paint. Tip of the brush blends, rubs very gently and lightly over the two colors. All right, I have a pretty good blend, so I'm going to put some more white up, or light gray up here. So I can blend here. All right, that's a pretty good blend. And then everything else up here is going to be light.
Okay, now in this uh, next uh, section, I want the blend to be in this area because I want this part to be light. So the blend will be like uh, uh, in this area again. And this is going to be where the dark is. All right, I'm going to paint the light gray up here. And because there's a difference between uh, dark and light, I'm going to do a blend right here. All right, and all down here is going to be the my dark gray. All right, I'm going to wash off my brush. Do a little bit of blending right here. All right, and we'll do our last and final section down here. Easy peasy. All right, so it'll go from light to dark, and then my blending area will be right in here. So I'm going to ignore the windows for now, paint right over them. All right, and I'll try to be quick as I can. This works best when the paint is wet. All right, I got my two paints down and then with a naked brush, no paint, no water, and I blend between just gently rub between the brushes or between the colors I'm gonna add the light gray up here Blend up here. All 
And then finally down here, I'm going to make it dark. All right, and that is how we do the background for our project. So if we compare it to this one, it looks like when I did this one, I used I made a lighter grays, and this one I used the darker grays, but I think it's going to be okay. This student right here made darker grays, and that turned out okay. And this one here did lighter grays. So this is this is how you do the background. All right. We'll see you next time. All right, that's it for today. And until next time, be a little art factory.